Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here from my bunker in the boonies. How y'all feeling? Y'all y'all got cabin fever yet? Cabin fever mixed with spring fever and hay fever. Woo! <laughs> Hopefully uh, everyone is safe and healthy and figuring out ways to have lots of fun. Today, I am very excited. Uh, I have a new paint to try. It's Rick's Mix by uh, Counterculture DIY. You can see that. Rick Cheadle, if you don't know him, he was one of the first people I saw on YouTube years ago doing uh, acrylic pouring. And so I'm very happy for him that he's come out with his own line of paints that I'm very excited to try. They are ready to pour and nice big bottles. So I can do lots of experiments with them. Yay. Uh, but first, have you seen the Go Make Some Art Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, feel free to skip this part. You've heard it before, but if you haven't, this is what it is. It's 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, as you can see. Let me get a little closer so you can really see. And each card is associated with a video. Don't mind my uh, terrible manicure. Associated with a video, so if you need a how-to, it will show you how to do it. There's a little tip box with some information that's sometimes helpful and the color palette at the bottom. And also these two boxes are meant to go together to use in a two color pour, or you can add white or black or whatever other color you choose. But uh, two color pours are a fun challenge sometimes. So that is what those cards do. And then there are eight color palette cards, bonus color palette cards that have five color palettes each. Pick some of the colors, pick all of the colors, pick two of the colors and add white or black. So lots of combinations. Say you pull the landscape pour video, but you've already done those colors. You could just dig out another card and decide which color palette you want to go with. There you go. They are available at my website, ginadeluca.net. Hey now. Do note that in an effort to be socially uh, responsible, I am only shipping uh, cards out once a week right now. Uh, trying to limit my exposure and other people's exposure to me. Oh, I should probably tell you the technical names of these colors instead of my very simple. We have alabaster white, lapis blue, cherry blossom red, and daffodil yellow. They're very pretty colors. I like the consistency so far. So let's make a mess. Let's see what happens. 
I'll be doing a traveling ring pour for this one. I can tell you I love the way this is coming out of the cup. Very smooth. When you get to the end, go slower, get closer. If you can, okay, so far, so good. I like what I'm seeing. I'm just trying to get the composition I want here. I did stretch this a lot, but I saw something cool happening and I didn't want to uh, undo that or not go with it. I can't talk today, you know what my problem is. But I was really liking this Kind of symmetrical thing that was happening okay i'm gonna clean up and i'm gonna bring you in for a close-up okay here it is i stretched this a lot so i may have to do another test where i am not pushing them to the absolute limits of their <laughs> stretchability but I saw this pattern emerging and I just envisioned painting a uh, flower, embellishing it and putting a flower it's upside down. But I think you saw it probably when I was pouring it. From the other side. But I think next time I will use a base coat. to get some more adhesion on the sides. This will be a very cool piece to embellish. I'm actually kind of excited about it. All right, so there it is. And I will, uh, the next video, I will show this painting dried. I will be testing these paints again. So be sure to uh, like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell. I think a lot of people aren't getting notified. 
of new videos because I have several people asking me where have I been. <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, but something has changed with the YouTube algorithms. I have noticed and has, so have other uh, members of the YouTube community. So be sure to hit that bell so that you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. There's also a Venmo tip jar now. They don't take a cut, so I do like the, the Venmo. Uh, my Amazon link. If you use the link in the description box, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. My website, GinaDeLuca.net, can be found in the description box as well. That's where you get my art, my music, and the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards, all available for purchase right there. Be sure to join our Facebook group. Go make some art, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. That's very pretty right there, I like that. Very cool looking. Uh, let's see, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I usually do forget something. But I will be back again testing these out with a base coat and seeing what kind of uh, result I get then. Okay, y'all. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.